as we learn about computer science and the internal parts of a computer, you may have seen a term that you have a question about. And these terms are actually a group of terms, kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, petabyte. They all have to do with computer storage. But what really is a kilobyte? Well, we can break it up into two parts. Kilo means a thousand, and byte means, well, here I'll explain. So a byte actually starts with bits. Bits are just ones or zeros. Everything in a computer is either a one or a zero, an on or an off. Think of the, the inside of a computer, it's almost like a bunch of light switches. They're either on or they're off. If we take these bits and put them together, and we put eight of them together, we get what is called a byte. Now a byte actually has enough information that it can store something useful. A one or a zero, it's kind of useful, but eight of them strung together now gives us enough possibilities in the number of combinations that we can have of ones and zeros that we can actually store the English alphabet using ones and zeros and a group of eight of them in a single byte. But this is a single byte. It's not very much information. Maybe one letter, maybe a couple if you really uh, get things compressed well, but you can't store much information in there at all. And it's not very thick. It's not very big yet. But what if we go to our first unit of information, the kilobyte? That's actually the first useful piece of information. That is going to be 8,000 post-it notes or a thousand bytes. What does that look like? It looks kind of like this. Let's see if I can get all these in the shot. No, that's not 8,000 post-its yet. We need more. We're gonna need even more than this. We're still gonna need more. We're still not there at 8,000. We've got more to go. We're getting closer. But we're still not quite there. We gotta start stacking them up. We're still not there. Almost. There we go. That is 8,000 post-it notes. End to end, if we stack them all up, it's about two and a half feet. A little over two and a half feet. That's one kilobyte. Well, two and a half feet is kind of a long way when you think about it for just a little bit of information we need 25 or so kilobytes to get the average word document that's 50 feet what if we go up to a megabyte the next unit that we really use in computer science the next unit of measurement for these units of data well that's going to be a thousand times our kilobyte and our kilobyte was two and a half feet. It was all of those post-it notes. Imagine laying post-it notes end to end over two and a half thousand feet. It would stretch from the corner of our school in Mariano almost all the way to Valley Circle. Well, 2,000 feet, that's almost half a mile for just a megabyte of information. And a megabyte of information might get you a few seconds in your favorite song won't get you all that much in terms of actual listening. Or uh, how about a movie? What, what if we want to watch a movie? Uh, one megabyte's not enough for a movie. We need lots of megabytes. We actually need many, many megabytes. And an HD movie will be gigabytes. It will be thousands of megabytes. And thousands of megabytes is going to be another thousand times. And if we were at half a mile, five uh, 5,280 feet is one mile. So 2,500 feet is just under half a mile. We're going to need 500 miles of post-it notes to store our movie. So one gigabyte would be enough post-it notes to make it almost all the way across 
Arizona. Definitely past Phoenix. It would make it a long ways away. We could go to San Francisco. That's well within 500 miles. We could go a long ways. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. We can go a long ways with 500 miles. That is one gigabyte. But there are even bigger amounts of information. The next one up is a terabyte. A terabyte is another thousand gigabytes. And another thousand gigabytes, 500 times a thousand, 500,000 miles, that's enough to make it to the moon and back again with post-it notes stacked one on top of each other just to make it to a terabyte. And believe it or not, there's even bigger amounts of information. Places like Google, Amazon, Oracle, uh, even some of the big YouTubers you follow uh, on YouTube store petabytes of information, which is a thousand terabytes. And a thousand terabytes, if you had that as each bit, a single post-it note stacked one on top of each other could make it from the sun to Jupiter with a little room to spare. To get a sense of how big that is, at the bottom of this video, I will also link a video to, uh, to this video, Riding Light, Traversing the Solar System at the Speed of Light. It takes light, the fastest thing in our universe. Nothing we know can travel faster than the speed of light. It takes 44 minutes to get from the sun to Jupiter. Light is so fast, it's a blink of an eye to you and I. But it takes 44 minutes to get from the sun to Jupiter. That's how much a petabyte of information is. It's an absolutely staggeringly large number. And yet, with modern computers, we can store that amount of information in a space that could fit on a standard school desk. You could actually, with a little bit of challenge, but maybe with a few people, you could lift up a petabyte of storage and carry it around. It's so much information. All right, I just wanted to share that with you because I find it really exciting.